Uh, so what have we learned? Other than this was really fun. Uh, it was funny. Uh, th- there were very a few times that I had to stop and read them to my family members uh, because I couldn't actually believe I was reading this. Um, yep. But this is, could, could we even say that someone who would take this seriously is, is a, a true Christian? Can, can, can we believe these things and also be saved by grace alone through faith alone and Christ alone and, and be good? Or is this completely antithetical to, to the gospel where it, it believing this, doing these things keeps us out of the kingdom? If you believed everything in this book, no, you would not be able to, to say that you're actually a, a Christian because she actually says not to focus on your sins. So if you read this book as not a Christian and you read the whole book and you leave it and you say, good, now I'm a Christian, you, you've accomplished nothing because in this, in this book, she literally says, do not think about your sins. Don't focus on your sins. You're not, con- you're not condemned. You don't want to focus on that negativity. And so um, the opposite of scripture is in here, like the opposite of the gospel is written in this book. So I would say if you, if you could read this book and not have a problem with the fact that she's telling you not to, not to repent, repentance is something that doesn't just happen once. Like you, yes, you repent at the beginning of faith, you repent and put your faith in Christ. Repentance should continue on after that. You should also be continuing in in repentance. And and this book teaches the opposite. It's, it's complete that, that one portion, everything else is nonsense. But that one portion is actually her, like straight up heretical, damnable heresy, because you really literally are teaching people not not to do the very thing that that leads to salvation. So I think just that if that wasn't in there, I would be like, you know, you could read this as a new believer and be kind of confused. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. But if you get to that point as a new believer and you're not like, wait a minute, but I was just told to repent. Then, then I'm not. I'm, I'm not sure if you have heard the gospel correctly. That doesn't mean that you're not a new believer. Maybe you heard the gospel and don't understand it fully yet. But if you've been in the faith for ten years, like I had, whenever I was reading these books, and you don't get that that's that's completely and totally against um, the gospel, then m- might be time to maybe just maybe um, work through your faith, work work through your salvation with fear and trembling. Just an idea. Yeah, pick up another book, S- Stephen Furtick, uh, probably. Oh. Uh, Those are pretty expensive. So, Got a cheaper something option. from IHOP. I, I, I <laughs> well, see, I, I, I sit slightly off key, keter, so you know, maybe if I put put one under my foot, it'll it'll lengthen a little bit, and I'll I'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> you just need some Todd White attention on your leg. Oh, <laughs> you know, you know, uh, it's it's so hard, it's so hard. It's, it's difficult life. It's true. Just thinking negatively. As long as no one kicks me in the chest, that's what I'm worried about. Because <laughs> you know, I, I, unlike unlike these uh, um, uh, people who never sin anymore, ah, man, sometimes I sin. And I really I, being kicked in the chest seems not, not so fun. <laughs> but you know, at the same time, maybe I wouldn't do it if <laughs> someone kicked me in the chest. And I'm an old old woman. Don't kick people in the chest and also um, don't wear biker boots because that, that would be even more painful. <laughs> Hopefully this is helpful though. I, thanks for letting me join you for this, this one-off book thing. Yeah, fun. that was a lot of fun.